2010. The HIV prevalence in Zimbabwe was actually 15% in the general population. Sagamanoya Akashaika, Akango it as Ukungoti, Anagura, Akango for Magadesi Agafu. It was just something which pained us. It's necessary to look after babies whom you don't even know when is he or she going to die. We know a very large percentage of children who are HIV positive. If you don't identify them, put them on treatment early. Within the first two years, they're dead. If you don't have uh, children, that means that country is dying. The harsh economic situation then made it very difficult to roll it on a national scale. There were nine sales points. It took a lot of time for the patient. We used to lose a lot of mothers that way. Paper-based information systems are so challenging. You are not able to follow up mother-baby pairs. It takes a long time. If your sample is taking a month to get to the lab, another month to come back to the patient, another month or even more to bring back the child to be put on treatment, the babe might have already died. The ministry realized there was a need to roll out the PMTC program, but ministry alone was not going to be able to do this massive work. We were looking to reducing new HIV infections amongst children by 90% and then reducing the mother-to-child transmission rate to less than 5%. With the right policies, with the right frameworks, if you just add that bit of funding to it, you have the right mix to get the results that you are aspiring to. Perhaps the core part of the program itself was to introduce what we call the district focal person who was there to help with development of the work plans for each district. You could call them foot soldiers if you like. They were on the ground and they kept a close watch with what was going on at the rural health centre level as well as the district level. realize that it's not enough to keep children HIV free. We have to keep their mothers alive. With the new system, we'll finish with the same mother, one room. We had very low access to CD4 testing in this country before CIF support. But we were able to purchase point of care CD4 machines. The test is done getting the result back to the woman on the same day. One of the other challenges we faced was early infant diagnosis. With the safe funding, we were able to actually introduce a courier system that would help us with the transportation of the samples. They also supported the lab scientists who are very crucial to us getting an early HIV diagnosis for children that are HIV positive. FedEx picks those samples from that district straight to our laboratory so that infants get results as soon as possible. Immediately, an SMS is sent out to the clinics. positive. <laughs> We worked again with Ministry to introduce an electronic database system that would help us follow up mother-baby pairs in about 36 sites which were strategically positioned. 
our chiefs are very important in their communities. We were able to have discussion meetings to really make them understand the advantages and the benefits of having an HIV-free generation. The chief heard about this program of uh, male involvement. He decided to come. He said to us, I am going to lead by example. That's why I myself wrote my family, got tested and uh, encourage the community as a whole to, 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 to come and uh, do such a thing as well. Apa and the guy tried to put the patch in the top bar up and the guy tried to put this here patch in here. We are this here, my run out and we do it. We are going to see. We felt that community dialogues were important. In an in the PMT city, mother, we never have an uncle too. When the guy shared him PMT city, they saw a couple of very negative. Zimbabwe has really made huge progress towards elimination. By the end of the SIF grant, mother-to-child transmission rate had come down to about 6.7%. Wow, that is amazing. And everybody in Zimbabwe is celebrating that. In Zimbabwe, the lessons are there. We have documented it. PMT City is a life-saving program and uh, it has given hope to all the mothers who are HIV positive. Children are our future. We really need to drive towards an HIV-free generation. It is key that we really close the pediatric treatment gap. This is the right time to really ramp up activities to get to the finish line. Achoo!